The city of Barrie and the OPP successfully rescued 43 individuals who were uh, labor human trafficking. And I think it's a wonderful story of cooperation. When it comes to human trafficking, the public and, and, and even law enforcement at times, people automatically assume that it's sexual exploitation. This current uh, investigation, I hope, is going to shed some light on that there's a, there is another side, the, the forced labor or exploiting people for their, uh, for their labor. Neither is no less important than the other. What we've done in this case in assisting the, the victims, uh, I'm really hopeful that it's going to raise awareness in the public so that people uh, are more aware that this, this does go on in communities around uh, the province of Ontario and, and, and Canada. The rescuing of these individuals has led to them having status uh, in our country. They have accommodations now where they can sleep in their own beds and feel safe and not victimized. And, and they have work, so they're contributing uh, to our society. Victim focus is something that uh, we hope that we accomplished, and this one we did accomplish. So we made a difference. We were the difference in these people's lives. Crime has no, no borders or geography, so police and law enforcement, I think, are slowly uh, you know, coming around to the fact that we, we need more of these partnerships and we need to work together more to, to tackle these issues. Often it is the police officers who are on the streets that are seeing these uh, abuses, and we want to make sure they have the tools. Bill 68 will ensure that. Uh, the, the amount of coordination and cooperation that had to happen in order to rescue those 43 individuals speaks to how our police can work together and are willing to get the job done. So thank you for that.